everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome to another pack opening video. This time, it is for the Wild Space Explorers packs. Now, yes, I know, there's no pack opening intro. I know what the hell is going on, Charlie. Well, if you've joined me for the first time, if this is the first video you've ever watched of me, I usually do like a pack opening video intro to the beginning of this, and I haven't this time. And I'm going to tell you why. It takes a lot of work to make those. So I'm actually going to do those intros every other pack video, not every single one, because seriously, sometimes it gets to a point and I just can't, I, I just don't have the energy to do it because it takes so much time to do it and I get little out of it. Yeah, sure, I make like a nice little five minute intro thing, but I don't get anything out of it really. You know, I'm, I mean, one day I'll show you the whole work that goes into making a pack intro. In fact, I might actually change my Patreon up and put that as a milestone goal, perhaps maybe like $25 or something, if people actually care about my Patreon, but nobody really cares about it, so. Anyway, so may maybe I'll do that. If you want to go and support my Patreon, you go ahead, but you don't have to. It's just, it's just there in case you want to. But anyway, last time I said that I was going to give six people the chance to win a cartel pack, and... I have those names right here. So, the winners are Logain from the Beggar and Colony, Sien Ra from the Tomb of Freedom Nad, Ivion from Vangevalis Chain. I've never really said that server before. Uh, Volklane, or Volklane, sorry, <laughs> from the Beggar and Colony, Killer Man from the Red Eclipse, and Master Shane from the Ebon Hawk. So, congratulations to all of you. You have won yourself a cartel pack of the Wild Space Explorers packs. Please check your mail with all the details. And if you would like a chance to win, I'm actually going to give away two Hyper Crates this time. Why? Because when the next pack video is out, so will Knights of the Fallen Empire. And uh, that will bring a whole new array of packs. I don't know what they're calling it. I really need to uh, work out what they're actually calling it. What, I wonder, maybe it'll be like a something something night pack, maybe? Or as a cool pack or something like that. That'd be cool. But we will, we will see. We will see. So if you'd like a chance to win one of two Hyper Crates of the next pack, then all you've got to do is post your character name, your server, and whether you're Republic or Empire, by, well, it should be pretty obvious, by when Knights of the Fallen Empire is released on October 20th. Well, that's when the early access is for subscribers. So I assume that's when the next pack is going to be out, either October 20th or the week after the October 27th. So, there we go. Obviously, I'll do, like, Knights of the Fallen Empire videos first, and then do the pack video, because, well, I think people would want to see Knights of the Fallen Empire mostly more than, uh, the actual pack video, but, anyway. Moving on to the pack video, well, I'm so glad this has finally come out, because I've been looking forward to hopefully getting this Malga statue. Even if I don't get it in this pack video, I need to buy this Malga statue, because if you've ever been into my... My, um, I've completely forgot what the planet's called, Yavin 4. Why is it a planet? It's more of a moon, isn't it? Yavin 4 is the fourth moon of Yavin. So, yeah, yeah, I, I learned that in, was it in science? I can't remember, because they just sort of, like, add a number for each of the moon around a planet. Uh, for some planets, I think. But anyway, yes, they have the Malga statue, and I want that statue, because, if you, yes, if you've ever been in my Yavin 4 stronghold, you'll notice the way I've set up the main entrance is that you've got three statues. I've got Shea Vizsla, I've got um, Satil Shan, and who's the last one I've got? It's Revan, as well, all statues. And I want to get a Malga statue, and I need to get a fifth statue, because that will fill up all the hooks, but I'm hoping in the future they'll do, like, a... Um, Ooh, I don't know. Maybe a... <sighs> what kind of statue could they do? Really. But I, I really want them to add one. But anyway, we shall see how lucky I am. Maybe I'll get it in the Wild Space Platinum... Pa space? I just said Space. Wild Space Platinum Pack. I probably won't, because no doubt I'll get like a piece of clothing that I just really don't want. Uh, last time as well, I was trying to get my reputation up. I've already done it. Yeah, I got my reputation up to legend because I bought myself another hyper crate like after I finished the video. Obviously, I didn't do a pack opening video for that because there's no point in doing a pack opening video each time I buy a hyper crate, even if it's the same one. I didn't really get many interesting things anyway, but hey ho. Right, let's open open the wild space planner pack and hopefully I'll get it. Please let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get me. Let me get me. Come on. Oh, God's sake. I got the Lucian Dre's lower robe. Kranatoka wearing a robe. 
Well, that's never going to happen. Oh, that's got like a nice little gold effect. It's got like, is that, well, I was, was going to say it's meant to be lightning, but it's not. Although you can't really see behind it because his, uh, his cape is in the way. But yes, it's kind of sleek. It's very, very sleek. Let's move that away. Alright, and now we begin opening packs. I really, really hope I get that statue. I really, really do, but I probably won't. Alright, uh, so to begin with, I'm so glad I'm getting scrap as well because I'm actually doing the conquests now and obviously it's a at the moment it's a conquest I need for the achievement so I'll, I use all my scrap and all that to uh, just do all crafting. Oh, what is a conquest? I haven't really properly checked. Well, um, uh, invasion force, that's not, re oh, God's sake, that's not repeatable but hopefully if Ian sends the place to Voss then yes, I can get double the points. Hey ho, hey ho. Oh. Anyway, well, we're not here for the conquest. We've also got the armored in the, the interrogator boots. I cannot speak. I really can't. Is that really? How can you tell? What? It's not like really much an interrogator would wear. It's like, no, those are the wrong shoes. These are the shoes you must wear. These ones. It's like we. <laughs> it's just weird that these are interrogator shoes. Seriously. And what else do we have? We have battle worn engineer's lower body armor. Let's take a look at that. Doop be doop. Ooh, you really are. Oh, you really are battle worn. Is this like a, is this supposed to be like a cyborg kind of battle worn? Because it looks like you're seeing the inside. It can, you know how in like the Terminator where Arnold's face is just sort of ripped off and you can see his metal skeleton and all that. It kind of looks like that. So it's like his trousers and skin has been ripped off and you can just see the metal of Kranatoko. That'd be quite nice if you want to cosplay, really. And then of course you've got the boots as well. Which I don't, I wouldn't really want to wear. Maybe if I, I wouldn't want to wear the boots, but maybe the legs. The, the legs go really well as well. Maybe if Kramatoka was ever battle worn at some point, I might change his armor to affect his story, if you know what I mean. The second pack contains. I was actually worried for a second there because I thought I wasn't recording, but I am recording. Something's going to go wrong. You watch. Uh, we also have. Aha! We have that. Obelisk helmet, which you could see in the icon for the pack, which looked absolutely horrendous. I mean, seriously, who would ever want to wear that? Like, ever. Maybe if you're trying to be a, I don't know, like a bug queen or king, but that is just horrible. Seriously, who, who would wear that? Hopefully that goes for a lot, but who would wear that? I know I certainly wouldn't, but maybe it's your thing, maybe it's not. And we've got an Imperial Security Console, so let's take a look at that. Aha! So it's one of these round things, which actually is uh, kind of taller than Kranatoka. So if, are these supposed to be buttons? I don't really know. It's, it's not like Kranatoka could really get to them. He'd be like, hey, uh, yeah, I think I'm pressing the right button. Yeah, I think. Yeah. But there it is. In all its glory. That will blend in well with uh, some of the things in this stronghold, I think. Or, or my German cat, actually. The third pack contains... I still want that statue. Give me the statue, please. I want it. Don't make me waste so many credits. Because <laughs> no doubt it's going to go for a good six, seven million. Because it's, it's a freaking Malga statue. How can it not? Ooh, a cartel certificate. I haven't got one of those in a long time. Uh, PW8 Plasma Sniper Rifle. If you want to get a sniper rifle for your sniper. That, oh, that is a very nice sniper rifle. That's very detailed. I give it that. And it's got, like, the proper scope as well. That's quite nice. Oh, it's got, like, a little... Oh, it's got, like, a little electrical effect. That is quite nice. That is a cute effect. Cool. Cool. It's very long, though. Look how long it is. It's massive. We've also got the Andronicos Revel Customization 10. And he would look like this. With a, is that a, is, I assume that's face paint and not scar. And of course, he's got like a scar. Although he does have, a, yeah, he does have a scar on the left side of his face as well, and a little weird beard. Ooh, that rhymed. A little weird beard. And the fourth pack contains Malga statue. God's sake! But still, a GR14 XT plasma core blaster. If you're interested in that, again, it has a scope. Does every single one of these have a scope? Hmm, okay, it's got that weird effect as well. Just that line. What is that? It's just, just a weird lined effect. That's kind of weird. It doesn't. It doesn't really suit the actual gun. It did it with the sniper as well. It doesn't really suit it. But hey ho, if you want that, you can have that. Well, I'm not actually going to give it to you. But if you ever buy a pack, and if you get that, you can have that. Uh, we also got the battle ward engine. They're, make, they're doing works next door, if you could hear they uh, The Battle Worn Engineer's Lower Body Armor, I think I've just shown you that. I have indeed, so we don't need to see that again. The next pack contains... Please, give me the Malgus statue. 
I just want I want the Falcon statue. Uh interrogator boots again, seriously. Um, at least I can at least I can get credits off these trophies now that I don't need them. The dark red and light red die module. I, I guess it's okay. Yeah, it's well, it looks more like pink than light red. Well, uh, does it look um, can't really decide. It's sort of a peach kind of colour, in a way, like a very pinky peach. But hey, I prefer the colour Chronotoka is. It's black and red. Black and red just suits him. Not. I mean, I have tried red and red, but no, I just his skin is red, and I don't think all red would match his skin. So I think the I think blackness suits his skin very well. His black goes well with his skin, you know. Unless he's burnt to a crisp, then maybe not. <laughs> Uh, the next pack contains a mount, at least, the Dast uh, the, uh, Dasta Titan. Let's take a look at that one. Ooh, that is quite nice. It's, it does look like two mounts merged together, though, and I don't think it has a flourish. I got it right this time. Flourish, not a flare. <sighs> nope, doesn't have a flourish, but hey, it looks okay. Ooh, ooh, that was weird. Oh, no, it doesn't. I thought when you moved it, the flames actually got brighter, but it doesn't. That would have been a nice effect, but hey-ho. No, no. Oh, what? Does it? Does it? At the back? Does it? Does it? Yeah, it does! Okay! When you actually move, the flames actually get brighter. And then when you stop, it's just going... Wah, 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 wah. That's quite cute! I like that! I like that effect. But hey, I won't go for this because it just looks too... fat. Hmm. Just... And the colour just, again, doesn't suit Grand Togo. No. No, no. We've also got ourselves an Imperial ceiling light, which pretty much turns the entire environment pink. Unless the environment is always this colour, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Let's let's turn it off a minute. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It'd be nice if you could actually turn the lights off as well, but hey, it won't allow you to do that. No, the environment actually turns pink. That's bizarre. Yeah, so you know you could you could have this in your stronghold, you'd be like, yeah, I'm so empire, oh yeah, and then people walk in and like, oh. It's lovely and pink in here, isn't it? Next pack contains, please give me the Malga statue! Please! I want the Malga statue! Why won't you give it to me? Our interrogator lower robe as well. Okay. Oh, so do you mean like interrogator as in a Sith interrogator? I guess so. Is that really armoured? It's, it's, it's armoured interrogator. I mean, can you really armour a robe? I, well, I guess they are. They have kind of armoured it. So if somebody were to try and shoot you, would it rebound off? In theory? I guess so. It's got a nice little pattern on the side, which I quite like. And we've also got ourselves the pickaxe remote. Uh, that'll be interesting. Let's take a look at that. And here we go. Oh. Okay. Well, Kranatoko is actually doing some hard labor. All right. For once in his life. Oh, he's cracking his neck as well. Okay. Oh, shush, Kranatoka, just because you're having to do some work for once. FOR ONCE! The eighth pack contains Malga statue! Please! Why not? Why? A majestic Varactyl. Sm summons a small. Oh, you can actually get Varactyls as a pet as well. Oh, I see. And there. Oh, are So it's very pink, but look at that! Oh, but our baby Varactyls are a lot more cuter than the actual big ones. Look at it! Look at it! It's just adorable! Hello! Come here! <laughs> the way it runs to you is... Uh, oh, that is the cutest pet I have ever had. I'm so proud of that pet. I really am. I'm so glad you can now have Varactyl as a pet. Have I ever have I ever got Varactyl as a pet? I don't think I have. Um, Majestic Varactyl, which I just got. No, I don't think I've ever had a Varactyl as a pet. Is this the first one I've ever brought in? I guess so, but hey, it is the cutest Varactyl I have ever seen. We've also got Advanced Black Red Striated Hawkeye Crystal, which gives you power! And it's not doing anything! Oh, of course, because you need to be into your actual armor, which I thought it was. So why isn't it working? Oh, there we go! And there it is. It's pretty much th that one, but again, red. But that's, that, that is a that's quite nice. Have they never brought that out yet? Is this the first time we've ever seen this? It, 
it looks familiar, but it's it is a very nice red. I might actually change Granatoka to wear that, and I might actually get him another one because that just suits him very well. Maybe he'll have that in Knights of the Fallen Empire. Yes, I think so. I think so. The next pack contains it won't have the Malga statue, I'll tell you that. Uh the dark red and light red again, which we don't need. Another Imperial Security Console, which we don't need again, and that's it. Everything else is just the I never really I don't ever show like the trophies and the social boosts and things like that up because well you don't really need to see that. It's just simple. You know, you get experience boosts, you get social boosts. I might actually put you away. I mean you're you're cute, but you're quite annoying right now. Uh and scrap of course and just trophies. It's just the stuff which I won't really talk much about because you can get, you can pretty much get those anywhere, to be honest. Where are you? You're there. Oh, peace of quiet. The next pack contains. Still not the statue. But I got a title Wild Space Explorer! To add to my many, 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 many titles. Uh, and the sa same color crystal again, just critical. And we'll move you over there. The next pack contains. Uh. Still nothing. <laughs> still nothing! Uh, Battle Worn Engineer Supplementary Body Armor this time, so we'll take a look at that. If we get the full set, I'll show you the full set. Oh god, not that face thing again. The neck brace. God, who, who would ever wear that? Why? Maybe if you broke your jaw, perhaps, but why would you voluntarily wear that? Although! Although! That actually goes well with Kranatoko's hairstyle. I hate to admit it, but it actually does. But I don't, I don't think I'll wear that anyway. And of course, you've got the Battle Worn Engineer's belt as well, which is pretty almost like, yeah, it's almost like Kranatoko's anyway, except just different color. And the pouches have moved down. And yes, of course. Okay, so yes, it's practically different, but just it's got the same sort of strap. All right, yes, yes, it's different. All right, now shush. Next pack contains still no statue, still no statue. But what is this? The obelisk breastplate, which goes with the helmet. Let us take a look at that. Why, why, why is he wearing peanuts? What? What? Why? Why is? Why is? Um, let's add the helmet as well and see what that looks. Um, I don't know. It's. He really looks like he just thought, what do I want to wear today? I think I'm just going to throw some peanuts together, some massive peanuts, and just go like this. Yeah, I think I, I'm going to Lady Gaga it up, I think. Yes, this this is the sort of dress Lady Gaga would wear. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't, that, I don't know how much that will go because that is, that is odd. I hope it goes through a lot, but I honestly don't think it will because that is kind of a horrible piece of armor. It, it has potential from the back. Look at the back. You think that looks quite nice. It's very well fitted. Looks like it could be something for an Imperial agent. And then you look at the front and you think, what the hell? What the hell? Uh, we've also got synthetic biofiber supplementary body armor as well. Let's combine all those. Uh, just got a very plain, straight belt. A very weird, a very weird helmet. Granite Tucker even see? His eyes would normally be there, wouldn't they? Granite can't even see because his eyes would be there, and if these were the windows, he would only see about that much. Where where the bottom of the mouse is, that is all he would probably see. <laughs> and okay, yeah, maybe he'll see. Yeah, well, in front of him, he won't be able to see any further up. Well, maybe he'd be able to see all of that, anything up there, but anything that's there, like right in front of his eyes, probably not. And we've also got the braces as well, but you can't really see them, and I can't be bothered to show you anyway. It's probably not going to be very interesting anyway. It's the braces. Why are the braces ever interesting? When, when are they ever interesting? You watch, I'm not going to get the Malga statue just because of that now. I'm actually going to show you now, just in case I've jinxed myself. Just in case I've jinxed myself, because I probably have. There! There's the braces! Now give me the Malga statue, goddammit! Please! Please! <sighs> We've got a credit explosion. How much will we get? We got 79,000 credits. Lovely. We've also got the Gree Hypergate. You generate health and your class's energy pool while harnessing the power of the Gree. Whoa! Whoa! 
Oh my god, you actually get dragged in. That is... That is really cool. That is one of the best... Regenerate... Healing... Of <laughs> that is great. That is really great. That is one of the best I've ever seen, seriously. The next pack contains... Still no statue. Oh, we've had the pickaxe. Now we've got the shovel. And let's take a look at that. Diggy diggy hole. What is he digging? He's not digging anything because it's the... It's, well, it's not a stone floor. It's a metal floor. He's not digging anything. <laughs> okay. Yes. Hard labor, Kranatoko. Hard labor. I do all the work for you. I do all the work for you. So now it's time for you to do all the work. Which... Looks like nothing right now because you're not even digging anything. You're digging into a metal floor, so. <sighs> I just can't win with you, can I? And we've also got the obelisk bracers as well, which would go with the armor. I should probably show you it with the armor, but. Yeah, you, there's really no, not much difference, really. I mean, yeah, it matches at least. What, what would it look like with the red color? Even in, the, even in red, it, it looks better in the red, but. Again, I really don't like it because it's all very peanutty. Seriously, it is very peanutty. I hope I'm not the only person who thinks it pretty much looks like they've just whacked a whole bunch of large peanuts in. <laughs> oh my god. The next pack contains. Please give me the Malga statue. Please give me the Malga statue! I'm gonna go nuts. I really want the Malga statues more than I have ever wanted anything out of these packs. Hey, I got a second one now, so I don't have to worry about paying for it. In in cartel coins, I mean, because I would have just got it from my collections. Uh, we've got medium green and deep blue die module as well. Oh, God. Oh, God. That is horrible. That is horrible. Let's turn that off. And we've also got the hut cantina skiff, which has a flourish. Yay! Let's take a look at that. And here it is. It pretty much is like one of those barges which you would get previously, but this time it has a flourish. Oh, wow! It's got like a little holo dancer and the uh, cantini music. And there he is. Throwing grapes into the air like a badass. If I turn that off, can I reset it? Well, the music kind of just cut off a little while through. But hey, there's the mount. It's a nice color. But as, what it, is it, it is for a hut, isn't it? Do you really think a hut would fit onto that? Because I'm, I'm sure that their barges are a lot bigger than this. But hey, it's it's supposed to be a hut um, mount, but never mind. We've only got eight more packs. I know, I know. Uh, we've got the B Banner Sith Empire. Oh yes, I've been waiting for that. Sort of. Is it that one I've been waiting for? I don't know, because I've been... Is it that one? Because I, I, I have like a... Outside my Yavin 4 temple, I have like flags hanging off the side, and that would... That would pretty much go there I think so yes I mean I'll show you that but I don't where can I put it on can I put it on a large wall I assume I put it here wouldn't I uh, let me take a look ah there we go whoa that is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be I didn't realize it would take up the whole wall and it's very bright as well because the light is shining onto there as well what was that I heard something go whoop I'm scared but there it is the Sith Empire flag. We've also got ourselves a Sith Temple Hall Light, which we will put over there, and now I need to find it. Oh, it'll probably be under lights, wouldn't it? No? Um, maybe it's on this one? Under lights? No. Maybe it's on a small hook? Under lights? There it is! I found it! What? Whoa! What is... That's supposed to be a light. Well, it's not exactly illuminating the place, is it? Illuminating? Illuminating? Are they the same thing? What's the difference between illuminating and il illuminating? Eh, I'll look it up on Google later, but yes! Apparently that is the light! Sort of. But it looks more like a... decoration sort of piece, which you would just... It, it, it's very nice, it looks like a work of art, but as a light, I don't think so. The next pack contains definitely not the Malga statue. <laughs> We've got the Obelisk Greaves as well, which pretty plain has like a little weird 
line across the bottom as well, if you can see that. It's very dark. That's only if you can see it. Maybe if I do it this color. There we go. It stands out that time. But yes, there we go. And we've also got a Imperial Command Center. Oh, wow. That is great. This looks really great. And ah, uh, yes, some interactivity. I'm so glad when there's interactivity. Oh, whoa. That is really cool. I love it when there's interactivity. Now, will that stay on? Or does it go down like a time, like a bar? I don't really know. I assume it stays on until you tell it to? Or that I can't turn it off. Um, unless there's a different button which you turn it off. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, maybe I just have to go back. Can it turn off now? I can't turn it off. Oh well, still. it That's really nice. I really like it. Although, oh, it does turn off automatically. Can I actually... By the way, can we have it so that we can control it, please? Please? Uh, I always hate this as well, because it looks like you're on a giant stove. Am I the only one that's ever thought of this? It looks like you are on a giant stove about to burn alive. <laughs> please tell me I'm not the only one that's ever thought of that. Six more to go. And I've still not got it. I've already shown you the Plasma Core Blaster, and I've already shown you the mount. Please. I want it. I want it. Well, we got another Obelisk Breastplate. If they go for like a million, hey, there's another million for me. But again, I really don't think that's going to go for much. Uh, Ravager. Oh, Ravager's Supplementary Body Armor. Let's take a look at those. Uh, belt. That thingy. Oh, another mask. Oh, hello. I need to turn off and take off my gloves. I So I need to put these on again. There we go, there we go, and there we go. We've got the mask again, which I've practically already got. It's pretty much the mask I used to wear, but just a different name and a different and slightly different colour. Just lighten them. Is that was that was that little bit, that little speaker always on the one which I wore? Well, actually I still have it, so it's it's there. Yeah, it's pretty much that. Yeah, they are pretty much Wait, I'm not it's not previewing it, why is it not? Hold on, let's put that on. Right, yeah, so now I'm wearing that. And then let's preview that. Yeah, alright. And then turn it off. It is practically, as you can see, I am trying to swap them around. They are practically the same thing. And to show that that's working, there. Yes. So yes, they are exactly the same, just a different name. Okay. Well done, Bioware. Well done. I'm, I'm proud of you. Really, really proud of you. And, of course, you've got the braces and the belt, which are pretty plain. But, wow, that ooh, that really goes well with his um, cybernetic stuff. I'll give it that. But let's change it back to what he was originally wearing. There we go. Four more packs to go, and we've still not got the statue. Why? But I got another one of those Imperial Security Consoles, so if they go for a lot of money, well... Whew. Or I might just... I might just activate it, because that's a pretty cool console that I might want to have that twice. An armored interrogator belt as well. Ooh, scary. It looks like it's got a little... <laughs> that's cute. It's got like little eyes, and it's got like a little fang, and like little fangs. And this little bit here on Kranatoko's um, chest piece, it looks like it's going... It's like a vampire going... <laughs> oh my god. I am so immature. Three more to go. Three more to go. It must be so rare. This statue must be extremely rare. It is going to go for a lot of money. 56,000 credits. Lovely. The ob obelisk belt. Have I already shown you that? I don't think I have. I've pressed the wrong button. But oh well. There we go. And it's... Yep. It's pretty much just like a robed belt just hanging down. That The belt's very nice, but it really doesn't work with what Kranitoga is wearing right now. Definitely not. Two more packs to go. Still not got it. But hey, I got two more decorations. I got the Dark Honor Guard and the Sith Temple Bench. So let's take a look at those. What I also do as well with the statues, I put personnel in front of them that is relevant to the statue. So if I ever get Malgus, this will actually go in front. Oh, it looks like he was looking at me. This will actually go in front of his statue. That's if I get it in the last pack, but I probably won't. But hey, there we go. I now have myself a guard. And the bench is over here. It's a very plain bench, but hey... It's very stony. It's very stony. It's a nice colour, I'll give it that. It would work well on the Yavin 4, I think. Yavin 4 stronghold. Right. One more pack to go. Will I get it? This is the moment of truth. 
really, 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 really want that statue, and I really, really, really don't want to spend so many credits just to get it. But here goes. Drum roll, please. Oh. oh well, never mind. We've got a brand new mount anyway. We've got the Razalon FC21. So we'll take a look at that. It's pretty much just one of those weird mounts that has the really cool headlights. I really do like that, but I kind of wish you could turn that off. Wish the flourish button could turn that off. But no, I'm afraid not. Does it really do much in dark environments? I don't know. If you look on um, Taris, where it's sort of like nighttime, it'd be nice if you could, if it would actually illuminate the place. Maybe it was Illuminate. I, I can really can't remember. If, what What is the difference between those two words? Illuminate and Illuminate. Maybe Illuminate isn't even a word. I don't know. But yes, that'd be quite nice. And, oh, oh, I have forgotten the button. To There we go. That's the button I was looking for. Uh, and we've also got the Ravager's upper body armor as well to go with the... What was it? The, the, the thingy, 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 thingy? The supplementary body armor. That's the word I was looking for. And there it is. That is actually really cool. That might have to be Kranatoko's new clothes for Knights of the Fallen Empire, I think. Although it does look like he's one of the in one of those um, crazy people jackets. Yes, it does kind of. But hey, Kranatoko is crazy. He is crazy. So if I were to get the mask as well, I don't really want to give him the mask again. He's, he used to wore he wore it before, but it'd be odd to make him wear. But that looks menacing. Don't you think? Maybe if I change the trousers up to be a bit darker, that would be quite menacing. Ooh, ooh, and it's got like a little texture as well on the bottom of the robe. That's nice. And it's got like a little thing at the back as well. Yeah, it's got a nice texture. That is, that is really nice. I like that. But whether I'll go for it, who knows? Who knows? So anyway, that has been the pack opening video for the Wild Space Explorers pack. And I didn't get the statue. <sighs> and we'll leave with all the obelisks uh, thingies, whatever it's called, combined. There was a belt as well. Have I already put the belt on him? I don't know. Nope, there it is. And is that the full set? Almost the full set. I don't think I got the boots. Is it the boots are missing? I think it's the boots and the hands are missing it on. But there we go. That looks pretty cool. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you next time. And a farewell to you.